What's up guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Beginner Bike Sessions with Brian. For those of you that haven't tuned into the other episodes, Brian is new into mountain biking a couple months in, just got his first full suspension bike, so we're going out and teaching him some of the basic skills he needs to be a safer, faster, and more exciting mountain biker. You excited? I'm very excited. You! On this episode, we are going to focus on the wheelie. Now a wheelie might not be the most important tool on a mountain bike, but it's a skill that everyone likes to have, and who doesn't like doing a wheelie in front of all your friends? It's cool. Well, let's jump into it and see what we can do. Ready? Ready. Let's go. <laughs> I need to be out here with these bugs. I need my latte. That butt back. You ready? Yeah. Sure. All right, guys, so a wheelie is a pretty basic process in itself. We're gonna have our seat up, stay in that seated position. I'm gonna pump down with my arms. I'm gonna pedal and pull up at the same time. Here we're using the power of our legs and pulling with our arms to get that front wheel up and ride on the back wheel. And the goal with the wheelie, as you get better and better, is to find the balance point. There's a point, like a teeter-totter, where you can sit on your back wheel and your bike is perfectly balanced. And if you can hold that point, you can ride a wheelie. The better you are at holding that pivot point, that balance point, the longer you can ride a wheelie. Now the wheelie itself is pretty simple, but there's a million little tips and tricks that can help you get better and better as you learn to wheelie. So first, let's have Brian do a wheelie, see where he's at, and we'll take the tips and tricks from there. All right, so let's see Brian's wheelie before some tips and tricks. Show us what you got, Brian. Oh, nice save. Not bad, not bad at all. So let's give you some tips and tricks and then we'll get back on the bike and see what we can do to improve that. All right, so the first thing you wanna think about when you're doing a wheelie is your seat height. The lower your seat is, the further back your balance point is gonna be, which means it's not gonna feel as safe. If my seat's lower, I have to be all the way up here to be at a balance point and that means you're gonna to wanna to flip back over. You wanna be there. You also don't want your seat to be all the way up. If my seat's all the way up, when I'm up in a wheelie, I'll have a tendency to straighten my legs when I'm pedaling. And what happens is when you straighten your leg when you're pedaling, it shifts your weight to one side or the other, which means that your wheelie is either going to turn one way or the other and it's not going to last. So what you want, not down, not all the way up, but somewhere maybe an inch or two below the top. And you can play with this how you want, but that allows me to ride wheelies longer and smoother. Now the next thing you want to talk about is your gearing. If you're in too light of a gear when you try to wheelie, basically I'm not going to be able to get the front wheel up as high as I need to. If I'm in too high of a gear, too hard of a gear, I'm going to have to push really hard to get that wheel up. So what you want is a nice middle gear where you have enough force to raise the front wheel, but you're not pedaling too fast to where you can't get that wheel to the right balance point. For me it's normally my third or fourth ring down depending on the speed. You want to be in a nice middle gear that makes it easy for you to lift that front wheel. The next thing you want to think about when you're doing a wheelie is the placement of your pedal. Now since that first pedal stroke is the most important, that's the pedal stroke that lifts the bike up for you, you want to make sure that you place your pedal at the top so you have all of that movement to push down and lift the front of the bike up. Now that being said, a lot of people when they're trying to wheelie will sit like this and then they try to just push down and go. I want to have my feet already spinning. That way the gear's already engaged. Once it gets to the top, I push down and get into my wheelie. In addition to that, when you're wheeling, much like a manual or riding a skinny, is you want to look ahead. If you're wheeling and you have your head down, that means your body weight tends to lean forward, which means it's going to be harder to maintain that balance point. So if you keep your head up and back, it's going to be easier to keep the center of your balance back, which allows you to ride the wheelie longer, like this. Another point with a wheelie is obviously like everything else, you want to feather your brakes, so you want to have your finger lightly on your back brake. That way, if you go up too high, you can press your brake. It's going to bring your front wheel down. That's your safety mechanism. The last tip for riding a wheelie is going to be what you're doing with your arm. Preload for the wheelie, you push back. And what you want to focus on is pushing your arms straight back. You want your arms to lock at the same time. If you want to maintain that straight shoulder position, keep your arms straight. Most of your weight should be seated back in the bike. I'm really just sitting back, 
barely holding onto the handlebars to keep it straight. So we're gonna pull our arms straight back. I'm just sitting back. One more time, we're gonna press down. Arms straight back, head up. Showing Brian some tips and tricks. We got him back in the bike. Now one thing I wanna point out before we jump into the wheelie, you probably can't see it in the video, but we're on a slight incline here. So when you're learning a wheelie, Doing it on flat ground is fine. First, you wanna make sure you do it on dirt, not pavement for safety reasons, but doing it with a slight incline or hill in front of you is gonna make it a little easier to get to that balance point and help you in the learning process. So when you're learning, find an ever so slight hill. It's gonna make it a little easier in the beginning. All right, Brian, let's see it. Focus on straight arms, head up. Wow, that was really good. Now you have your seat not all the way up, not all the way down, right in the middle, right? Correct. Perfect. Well, wow, that's good. Nice, man. There you go, solid bail. Just like everything else, when you're learning, I always recommend learning in flat pedals. As you can see, Brian can get to that balance point. It's a little scary, but he can jump right off and he's not gonna get injured. Getting pretty good at bailing these days. <laughs> so again, focus on straight back, keep those arms straight. Nice, man, you're getting there. And the hardest part, as you can see, is getting to that balance point. So as you can see, Brian's lifting that front wheel, kind of falling right back down. That's because he's not quite at that balance point. Getting to the balance point can be scary, but you just gotta keep practicing. Once you find that sweet spot, she'll sit nice and pretty. Nice, man. Yeah, lots of practice. New so practice. The, the biggest thing, like anything else, is practice. Those tips and tricks are going to help Brian get on his way. We're already seeing improvements, but keep practicing and you'll get better. So Brian's been practicing the wheelie for about an hour or so. He's slowly progressing. He's having a snack now. He's getting kind of tired, so we're going to call it for the day. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys. As much as wheelies are just for fun, it's another skill, another connection between you and your bike. And as you learn all these little skills, it's going to make you better faster and you're gonna have more fun out there on the trails. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment if you had any additional notes to add to this video. This Kate's Real Food Bar is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Keep riding guys. You.